Hi everyone, it's me again, here to talk about another simple concept of editing and that is JPEG saving. Oftentimes I see the question, I'm saving as a JPEG, what quality should I save? And you'll know that JPEG saving gives you a scale of 0 to 12 in Photoshop or 0% to 100% in Lightroom. That's the quality level, right? And right down at 0, the quality is just awful. It's a tiny, tiny file but the degradation is just terrible. Up at the other maximum end, the quality is really good and there's not so much compression, although the files are still uh, significantly smaller than the original RAW or uh, TIFF or PSD from whence they came. So I want to talk about that using my pieces of paper again today. And I'll start by talking about these different levels of JPEG save. Now, I've got a photo here Let's say I save this photo as a maximum quality JPEG. We're talking 11 or 12 in Photoshop or 90 or 100 in Lightroom. Now that's more or less just like saving it to a folder like so. Just putting it in there. Now the photo's feelings might be hurt a bit by being put in a folder but really there's no damage to the file. Then we come step down a little bit to your sort of medium to high kind of range and that's like compressing a photo to fit in a smaller space. So I've got this one and I would uh, fold it here a couple of times to make it smaller and then that would fit here in my envelope. Should rehearse this first. Then right down the bottom, well near the bottom, we've got a very very small file, a lot of compression. So this one I'd have to say, uh, fold a few more times down, getting quite small to fit in this even smaller space. So you know now we're getting down around the six, five, four even on that uh, zero to twelve scale. And then I, I guess right at the bottom is you know zero. Uh, which will make these tiny files, which are great if you need to email to someone really fast, you know, if the quality doesn't matter. And that's more or less that, right? Easy to send, but awful quality. Okay, so that's giving you an idea of the saving levels. Now let's re-examine those. Consider if we reopen them. First of all, we've got the maximum quality one here. Take it out of its folder. I view it in Photoshop maybe tweak a little, resave it back into its folder. Really no damage, right? I mean, you could do that thousands and thousands of times. It might get some little creases from my fingers. No big deal. Point is, the quality is great. What about this medium high sort of one? Open it in Photoshop. Yeah, whatever, do a few things. Resave it. Re-put it in there. Now, because uh, it's got more creases, you know, each time I refold it, each time I'm shoving in here, a little bit more damage, first of all, along those crease lines and then, but still, you could do that a lot of times before the photo became unpleasing to the eye, right? Please don't take this too literally. Of course, a JPEG compression won't manifest itself in two straight lines across the photo. And then down the track, We've got the little one, it's more of the same. You know, there's more manhandling to open it, more, more creases to save it. So that one would degrade quicker. You know, you might only be able to open that a few times before you started to go, oh yeah, that's, that's looking shabby. And of course, this one that I compressed to Bilio, oh, no, I've ripped it and everything. Probably helps the metaphor, I guess. Um, Anyway, the quality is atrocious, right? Um, completely appalling. That's, I can do that once, but I can definitely not open it and, and resave it, anything like that. Now on that point, another important one to make is that if I were able to successfully open up this file, come on baby. Well, you get the idea. Open that up and then save it as a level 12 and put it carefully in here, is the quality improved by the fact that I've saved it as a level 12? Of course not. 
it had that initial awful damage, it's a goner.